Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Azure Active Directory. And in this video, we are going to talk about Open ID Connect protocol. And we'll also talk about how an application can use this protocol to verify the identity of a user and then access a protected API, which will be Microsoft Graph in our case. Now, if you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing how exactly OpenID Connect authentication protocol works. Now, depending upon the users who are going to sign into your application, we are also going to talk about which metadata endpoints you should access or your application should access to get the details of the endpoints which are used for authentication. Then we'll talk about how your application is going to use an access token to access a protected API. Now, there are certain prerequisites which I want you guys to know before you proceed with this particular video. The first one is what is OAuth. The second one is an idea about how the application works in Azure Active Directory and what is the purpose of different endpoints. Now, I have covered all these three components in a lot more detail in the videos that I have posted before. So if you guys want, you can go ahead and watch those as well. So let's proceed by knowing the first fundamental regarding OpenID Connect protocol, and that is OpenID Connect is an authentication protocol which has the authentication flow similar to OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow. Now, when I say similar, it is not identical because there is a change in terms of values that are included in the request, which is reaching the authorize endpoint. Let me make it simple and relatable for you guys. So if you guys remember in OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow, over there, the first request which your application is sending to authorize endpoint, in that video, the response type value was code. Whereas in OpenID Connect, it will be code and ID token. Now, the reason behind that is in OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow, your application is getting an access token which has application claims and then that access token is requested or is used to access a protected API. But when you mention ID token with code, Azure AD will also send an ID token and it's the responsibility of your application to verify that ID token with the help of Azure AD. Now this step wherein your application is verifying the security token is something which results for OpenID Connect protocol to be an authentication protocol. In OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow, there is no validation which is done for user identity. That's why it is an authorization protocol. Whereas in OpenID Connect flow, your application will verify the identity of the user by validating the ID token. That's why OpenID Connect is an authentication protocol. Now, depending upon the users who are going to sign into your application, you can access different metadata endpoints. Think about a scenario wherein your application will be used by all the type of users, the users which exist in directory commonly known as work or school accounts, or the users who have personal identities or consumer identities, likewise Outlook, Live or Hotmail. In those kind of scenarios, you have to access the common v2.0 endpoints because then you will get the list of endpoints which your application should use for the authentication flow. Add in cases wherein your application authentication is intended for a specific enterprise, you can choose any of these two endpoints. So if I take an example of concepts work, think about a scenario on developing an application which will be used by the users of conceptswork.com. I can use conceptswork.com instead of common or I can choose organizations if it is a multi-tenant app. Now, if I'm developing an application that will be used by personal accounts only, instead of common, I can choose consumers. Now, these values, which I'm talking about right now, which is organizations and consumers, these are intended only for V2.0 endpoints. So now let's proceed by knowing how exactly the OpenID Connect authentication flow is going to work. The very first thing 
which is required that your application should be registered in Azure Active Directory. And let's assume the home page of my application is application.com. Now we know that there are two endpoints which will be used in this particular flow. The first one is authorized endpoint and the other one is token endpoint. Now what will happen and how the user experience will be? Step number one, the user will open a browser and he or she will go to application.com. Now what will happen? The application.com will redirect the user to v2.0 authorized endpoint and as you can see as of now it is my directory so i have mentioned concepts work.com as well as in the response type i have mentioned code and id token now this is the first difference which you can see or which you can observe in terms of knowing which protocol is getting used by the application and as well as in the scope i have mentioned open id which was graph.microsoft.com forward slash dot default in case of OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow. Now, once this request is received by the authorized endpoint, users will be presented with a prompt to type their credentials and accept the consent. The consent is the prompt wherein it is notified to users or users acknowledgement is required wherein he or she wants to allow a specific application to access a specific set of information. Now, once the user has approved the consent in case of open ID connect an ID token and code will be sent to your application, which was not the case with OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow in OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow only code is sent back in this request whereas in open id connect an id token that will contain user claims will also be sent now it is the responsibility of your application to get this id token verified with the help of azure ad that means the authentication part is happening as of now which was not the case with OAuth 2.0 authorization protocol. And that's the reason why OpenID Connect is an authentication protocol. Okay. Now, the next step which your application has to do in order to access a protected API, it has to send this code to the token endpoint. And once this request will be processed by Azure AD, the access token will be sent back to application, which will be used to access a protected API, which will be Microsoft Graph in our case. Now, the only difference between OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow and OpenID Connect is the process where an ID token is also issued by Azure AD and which is getting verified by your application with the help of Azure AD. So this was all about knowing how the authentication flow works in OpenID Connect. We have also discussed about different endpoints which can be accessed. In the next video, I will be talking about the Fiddler trace with a sample application and the different values of endpoints which I have shown, I will be discussing about that as well. So if you guys have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.